I mean, she's already said she's pretty much pro Zimmerman. Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure other than, you know, sometimes when you're in a position where you're picking a jury and you hear some information that is obviously not favorable to your position, you're going to continue to ask questions and bait that individual into continuing to kind of dig their own grave, so to speak, to be able to support your argument to the court that this person clearly is not fair and they should be struck for cause. So it's something that does oftentimes happen in jury selection. Um, I wouldn't put too much stock in, in the fact that he's continuing to ask these questions other than it's purely for strategy. Reasons. Yeah, there you go, and, and we've laid that out. Uh, you, do you think that they're going to have to use a peremptory strike, or do you think uh, she'll be out because of cause, because she's so strong in her opinions? I think she's going to be out for cause because she said, you're going to have to change my mind. Um, I didn't get a chance to obviously see uh, D Defense Attorney O'Mara, but I'm sure that he was somewhat drooling as he heard her say <laughs> those words. Uh, but she certainly is not going to be there, and I suggest that it's probably going to be for cause, and if not, certainly a peremptory will be exercised. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Mel's perspective, your perspective, and how important this is, and you have to, as an attorney, listen to every word. You definitely have to listen to every word, and really there's been some discussion, an overall discussion of you're looking for fair and impartial jurors. You're really not. I mean, as a defense attorney, you're looking for people that are going to vote for you. So you need to take an opportunity to kind of listen to exactly what they're saying and give, you know, some, some, some thought as to maybe something that they said that may be somewhat insignificant. Maybe that's the thing in your mind that kind of you could draw the conclusion that they're going to be with you at the end of the case. Mm. So interesting. It's been fascinating to watch this. We'll keep Mark Lyons is with us. Mark, what do you think of the defense's arguments, Mark, uh, concerning, you know, they want to get witnesses together to present a more complete picture of Jody Arias and, and Jennifer Wilmot with five other cases? There's not many, not many times in life that you get a do-over, and they're getting a do-over in this case, and they've had the opportunity to obviously see the interviews of the, the, mm -hmm. the jurors that were on the panel before. Now they get to go back. They get to figure a different strategy. They'll work up the psychiatric aspect of it, the, 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 the disorder that potentially just came out about her, um, in addition to gathering those witnesses that may have been obviously fearful of coming. They'll, they'll work up that angle. Okay.